as I mentioned earlier, Kenosha County is is close to dead even between Republicans and Democrats. I'll tell you right now, if you want to know who's going to win the Trump-Biden election or if it's Trump versus Newsom or whatever, if you knew right now who was going to carry Kenosha County, you know who's going to carry the state because <laughs> we're a 50-50 state and that's a 50-50 county. That means this position is going to be determined in the general election. The current district attorney is a Democrat. His name is Michael Gravely. I'll be blunt about this. He's a clown. That office is a joke. Having said that, they have done excellent work in some cases. So I, I'm not saying cutting them slack. I'm acknowledging this. The prosecution, for example, of Jeffrey Jensen, the guy who was accused of poisoning his wife, his estranged wife, they had to prosecute that case, fight the fact that he fought and fought and fought, got a retrial, and convicted him again. It was good legal work. I grant you that. But I'm going to end it there. The leniency shown toward the Kenosha rioters, the disgraceful, I would say unconscionable prosecution of Kyle Rittenhouse. No one knew for certain until the trial occurred the overwhelming strength of the evidence that Kyle had and therefore the weakness of the case. But the DA's office knew. Their own witness in one of the shootings said, yeah, he didn't shoot me until I pointed my gun at him. The, ha the handling of the case in court, you had the assistant district attorney, Gravely's assistant, Binger the Bozo, I just love every chance we have to bring him up. I mean, we don't cover Kenosha County cases every day, and he may have been demoted in that office for, I don't know what he's doing now. Anyway, I gave him that name. I, well, And he deserved it. He made a fool of himself in court to the point that the judge admonished him repeatedly for improper presentation. He pointed a loaded, not a loaded, correction. He pointed an unloaded gun at the jury. Everybody who's had any kind of firearm training, you're never supposed to point a gun at another person unless you intend to pull the trigger and shoot that person. You're not supposed to do it because, well, the, uh, uh, who's the actor? Rust, the movie Rust. Baldwin. Alec Baldwin. Proof that, I mean, the case was ridiculous. There were instances of the prosecution improperly impugning the right of the witness to testify in self-defense. All of this stuff. Is a joke. In addition to that, there have been there has never been a properly satisfied resolution of a controversial police shooting involving Michael Bell of a number of years ago. But that DA's office just it's been a bad DA's office. Gravely is leaving. He's a Democrat. This is an opportunity for the voters to get it right. As I say, Kenosha County is deeply divided. As an example, the county executive position in Kenosha County. Now that is not run by political party. It's a spring election, meaning you're not, your party's not on the ballot. But everybody knew that there was a Republican running against the Democrat. You had an elected Democrat, the clerk, and an elected Republican, a member of the state assembly, running against one another for county executive. And the Republican, Samantha Kirkman, won and was elected county executive. Close presidential elections, United States Senate elections, when you take a look at the voting results in Kenosha County, again, just dead even. And as I explained earlier, eastern portion of the county, very Democratic. Western portion of the county is as Republican as any part anywhere in the state of Wisconsin. The Democrat running so far, there may be another, but the one who apparently is going to have the support of the Democratic establishment um, in Kenosha County is a veteran assistant to Michael Gravely, which to me is just an indictment. In and of itself, I don't want anybody coming out of that office. I don't want anybody coming out of an office in which they decided that a guy like Binger should be prosecuting a case for murder against Kyle Rittenhouse. Anyway, her name is Carly McNeil. She's running as a Democrat. I don't know this person, and I didn't have an opportunity just because I've been bet to check him out with some of the Republicans I know in Kenosha County, other than I got feedback that he's he's a pretty big deal. His name is Xavier Solis. He's an attorney in private practice. He's from Bristol, which is in 
the western portion of Kenosha County. And again, Kenosha County, the western portion, runs forever. I mean, first of all, the city is where it is, and you go several miles to get to I-94. But then it's 15, 18 miles to the west of I-94. That's how far west. It almost goes all the way to the uh, to Lake Geneva. Uh, that's how far west the county is. So Solis is going to run as a Republican. So you're going to have a clear case of somebody who's going to run, hopefully, on a, as a tough-on-crime Republican prosecutor against somebody who's going to defend somebody who wanted to lock up Kyle Rittenhouse for life for acting in self-defense to allow to, to try to avoid being a murder victim himself. The district attorney races.